how to manage files with file manager on your Samsung Galaxy S8. First, tap on the home key at the bottom to go back to your home screen and then tap on apps. Then here, go into the Samsung folder and tap on my files. Within the my files or the file manager, here are some of the things that you can do. Now you can see at the top here, the top section is the recent files. It shows all the recent files that you have recently opened. And then you have the different categories that you can look at. Uh, you can manage images, audio, videos, documents, downloads, and installation of uh, APK files. Then down here, you've got the font section, and it breaks down to internal storage and SD card. So you can go into the internal storage and manage files within uh, the font's memory, or you can tap on the back, and we can um, go into the SD card. Now at the top here are the navigation uh, bar that you can uh, tap on to uh, go back. So for example, if I want to go back to my files, I can tap on my files to go back to the root folder. If we go down a little bit, you can see the last section is the cloud, which are files that store on the cloud server. And here at the, on my phone, at the moment I have the Samsung Cloud, Google Drive, OneDrive, and any other cloud that you have added to your phone will be shown here, such as uh, Dropbox, for example. Now you can see once you go into uh, images, in, in here you can uh, manage uh, image, you can uh, tap on it, uh, you can uh, open and delete certain things. So screenshots, and then in here you can tap and hold, uh, you can share or delete files. So that's are some of the things that you can do. So if we want to um, uh, delete the files, you can uh, go into the images. You can delete any files, uh, not just images, image, audio, documents, they all works the same way. So you tap on it, and then you tap on download, and then uh, select a file that you want to delete. For example, I can tap and hold to that. And here I can tap on the select all button, and you can select all the files. Or you can simply just deselect and select a single file. At the top here, once you tap on it, some options will appear. And here you can share or delete, or you can tap on the menu key, and then you have more options. You can move, or you can, sorry, I accidentally tap on it. So you can copy, rename, add shortcuts, move to secure folder, and you can actually see the details of the files. There it is. So if you tap on details, we can see the file details. So in here we can delete files. You can also tap on delete uh, to confirm. We can also delete it um, from here as well, I think. Oh, no. So there's no delete option in here. You can only move or copy files. So let's say if you want to uh, move file, we, tap, we can tap on move. And then down here it asks us where do you want to move it to, to the cloud to your SD card or internal storage. So you can select one and then we can then move. So let's say we want to move it to the DSIM folder. We tap on done. And now you can see it's, I have a new, the new file location is my files SD card DSIM. So, and this is where it has been moved to. We can also make a copy of the files. So tap and hold, then tap on the menu key and then tap on copy. And then again, it will ask you where you want to copy it to. So you can then choose where you want to store. You can see there's quite a big list uh, of folders uh, on here. So you can select where you want to move it to. And here, and then you can select a folder and then tap on done. So now it will move to this uh, folder here. So I'll just delete it. So tap on delete button and then delete it. So again, you can share the files. So you can tap and hold and tap on share. Once you um, tap on the share buttons, you might have different uh, menu options uh, down here, depending on what apps is installed on your phone and if whether you have a um, SIM card inserted. Uh, if you got a SIM card inserted, you can also share file through uh, SMS. 
text messaging, you can use emails, you can also use uh, messengers uh, such as WhatsApp, Viber, Facebook messengers, or whatever that is installed on your phone, you can uh, use it to uh, share to. So that's the share options. Now at the top here, there is a uh, search icon that you can type in and then you can search. Uh, Western House, you can see as soon as I put in, it will try to search for the file name. So as small, as small letters I type in, the search will narrow down to a specific document. And you can also type in, select what type of files you want to search. So PDF, it will filter out uh, PDF documents only. And here, if I want uh, just MP3 files, I can tap on that. Uh, there's no MP3 files available at the moment within this folder. So if I tap on here, tap on the search icon, MP3. So it will show you within that folder. And that's it. So that's the search functions. You can also, um, so once in the documents folder, you can also change the view, so you can tap on the grid view, or you can tap on the list view, so that's uh, the option there for you. So tapping on the edit button allows you to uh, uh, select multiple items on your phone. You can share, now you can also get more space and settings. It's the same as going back to the root folder, if you tap on the menu key, you can tap on get more space. Yeah. Tapping on getting more space allows you to basically um, Going, going into larger files or unused files and then delete any files that you don't want so you can delete them so you've got uh, toast options there as well for you, for you to do so here you can see I have large files so if I tap on that I can see there are some uh, files that, that is up to 4 gigs so my phone only have 64 gigabytes of memory with 4 gigs of files that is quite relatively large compared to the the font size, mem memory size, so I can uh, delete the files. And here, it also show you a storage usage, and the total is 64 gig, and I've used up 61.29 gigabytes. And then you can go into settings. In the settings, you can uh, look at the cloud accounts, what is on your phone, and it give you a quick shortcut. To the actual account, so if you tap on it, it will go and sign in or take you directly to that settings and where you can uh, uh, perform some uh, changes to the settings. Down here are the file management, and in file management, you can choose to manage files over Wi Fi only, or you can choose to use uh, mobile data as well. So, this one here is particularly useful when you don't have a lot of mobile data and you want to make sure that. Um, files can only be um, uh, uploaded to the cloud using Wi-Fi only and vice versa if you are out on the road and you need to quickly sync files uh, to the cloud but you are not connected to a Wi-Fi you can switch off these features and that will allow you to um, quickly and uh, immediately upload files to the cloud using your mobile data of 4G and down here it's, um, you can show recent files you can enable or disable this switch to um, enable the recent file section that I show you at the beginning of the video. So down here, settings, if I turn back on, you can see okay, there's no recent files at the moment because we haven't opened anything. So if you go into settings, you can also turn the show hidden files on or off. So most of the hidden files are system files which you don't really need, so you can keep them off if you want. And down here, in the get more space section you can tap on large file size and you can manage so you can choose 25 100 and 500 of a custom size so if you consider 25 megabyte is not such of large files then you can uh, select 500 and this will allow you to um, set what you consider as a large files and that's it so we go back so that's the settings there so you can also set the durations of unused files. Uh, default by default, it is six months. So I tap on the back key there. 
So that's it. That is in a snapshot of how using uh, the file manage, uh, managers to manage your files on your phone. You can uh, with file manager you can quickly navigate to um, image uh, files on your phone. You can quickly navigate to audio files, video files, or documents. So um, this will give you uh, make it easier for you to access file or look for files when you need to find a certain files on your phone. And down here, you will, you can uh, manage files on your phone memories or the SD card, and with uh, certain functions such as um, when you go to documents, and when you select it, you have um, the features to um, uh, to move files and to copy files or to delete them as well. So down here, there's no um, copy files at the moment, so we'll have a look. So images, so the tap on that and hold. So we've got the move to secure folder only. So we can tap on details. So I'm just wondering <coughs> what happened to that uh, copy files. It's supposed to be there. So download. There it is. So something gone wrong just there so it should also shows when you tap on the mute key it's also supposed to show you the move copy or rename features or add shortcuts and there it is that's how you can uh, manage files on your phone and that's it thank you for watching this video if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more videos